Simon is gone. Like, it ain't there. Like, he ate it up. Like, of the video your girl is back again with another story time if you know my channel hey girl hey and if you're a returning subscriber i don't really have to say anything because you know what's up i know what's up we know what's up and that's on what that's on what that's on period and mary had a little lamb as y'all can see by the time the video today i'm gonna be telling y'all about the time i lost my virginity and i'm not gonna lie i really contemplated on filming this video because i'm just like how i'm gonna film this and not get demonetized youtube really be playing with your girl coin so we gonna have code names throughout this whole story so if i say poom poom cat capacha box we talking about the girl and by the girl i mean the girl downstairs but before we get into this video y'all i do have to announce i'm working with another black owned business and i'm super duper excited because y'all be like asia your skin look bomb like like what you put on your skin and y'all it's simply k it is simply k so this right here is the glow up bar this helps pipe pigmentation acne um black blackhead scars um blemishes this basically just helps reduce that i've been using this for about the past two to three weeks every time i shower and this is just bomb the second item we got here is the um brightening scrub this just helps high pigmentation and discoloration like if you want like an even skin tone because y'all my forehead is like darker than the rest of my face so i use this and y'all it smells so good and i'm gonna go ahead and open it up because y'all know people be like oh i use this product and they just sent it to them and they never used it but now nah, y'all see that your girl is in there deep like this is what i use i use this every single day i don't go a day without using this the second product that i use is the um acne be gone serum and y'all this right here y'all i put this on every single day after i use that scrub and it just has my skin glowing this also helps blemish it blemishes keloids um high pigmentation um it basically just helps balance your skin out and reduce acne and right here we have the moist pumpkin wash this right here helps for the vaginal moist so if you and your man trying to get it popping or you a little dry down there because ain't nothing wrong with that this right here is gonna get you right this is bomb. This is also the um, sensitive foam wash. And this right here just helps balance your pH balance. I use this every single day after and before my shower. And last but not least, we have the Royalty Pumpkin Oil. Y'all, this right here is a bomb. All of her products smell so good. This basically just helps any vaginal discomfort. And by discomfort, I don't mean STD or anything like that. You might need to check a doctor or ask a doctor. This is basically if you're just feeling a little irritation down there, maybe after you shave or something, this right here will help you out. Again, thank you, Simply K, for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to have all these products linked down in the description box below. Y'all, this is her Instagram. Make sure y'all follow her. And Make sure y'all sign up for her link down below so when she be thought, y'all can be the first one to get it. So y'all already know in order for any of my story times to make sense, I have to give y'all a little backstory. So y'all, this happened my senior year of high school. I'm gonna go ahead and give the guy I lost my virginity to a name. We gonna call him, we gonna call him Cornbread, y'all. So Cornbread met, I met him basically in my neighborhood, y'all. I used to be walking around my neighborhood, walking my dog, and Cornbread used to be on your girl body. Like anytime he seen me outside walking my dog, he used to come up to me and just trying to talk to me and stuff and i'm not gonna say i basically i just really didn't want to talk to him because he was very promiscuous like i didn't know him but i knew of him like we didn't go to the same school or anything but i just knew of him so i really didn't want to talk to him but y'all he was real real persistent so them little doggy walks around my neighborhood basically turned to facetimes turned to texting and turned to car conversations and y'all already know how that be boom but cornbread is not my boyfriend y'all so fast forward to like five or six months later and it's prom night and me and cornbread we didn't go to the same school so we decided not to go to the same prom because i went to disney for my prom and he went to i think his prom was at a country club and i didn't want to go to no little ghetto country club so i decided to go to my own prom and he went to his own prom and plus both of our proms was on the same day and even if our proms wasn't on the same day in high school nobody had no money to be buying two dresses two hairdos like two tuxes like it was just too much so i went to my prom and he went to his prom so after prom, prom was over like at 12 o'clock at night, but because my prom was in Orlando, I had to drive back to, um, well, we took a charter bus, y'all. I had to go back to the school and we didn't get back to the school until like two o'clock in the morning and my parents were asleep. So Cornbread came to pick me up from the school because that's where the charter bus dropped us off after prom. So he picked me up or whatever and I got my little dress on still. He got his tuxedo on and we just talking, we vibing. He asked me how was my prom, I'm asking how was his prom and we just vibing. So we go back to cornbread house y'all and at this point i still have on my prom dress and i'm like bae 
could you unzip my prom dress? Because the type of dress that I had, I'm going to put a picture of my prom dress right here, y'all. It was basically like this really tight mermaid dress, and it had like a really high zipper in the back, and it had this thing that tied around my neck. So I'm like, babe, could you undo my prom dress? And y'all, when he undid my prom dress, how do I say this? He basically put, put that thing on me when he undid my prom dress. Like, I'm right here, y'all, and this is my back. This is my back, y'all. He's unzipping my prom dress, but when he's unzipping it, he's like, we like this when he unzipping the prom dress. So, you know me. He's unzipped the prom dress. I'm thinking, like, all right, that's key. Like, he, that's the sign. Like, he's trying to let me know what's up. So, he unzips my prom dress. He gets me, like, an oversized t-shirt and some boxers. I go in the bathroom to change or whatever. And remind you, y'all, I was not supposed to be spending the night at his house. Like, at this time, my mom or his mom did not allow us to spend the night at each other's house. So, I couldn't really take a shower because she would have like that would have the water would have been running and she would have been thinking like who in my house so i went in the bathroom y'all i didn't put on my um clothes immediately i had was out all night sweating and dancing bumping and grinding so you know your girl had to freshen up so i go i think they had like a i don't know if they had a linen closet in the bathroom or if it was in a hallway i don't know y'all but i found a towel a little washcloth and i started cleaning my little poom poom and my little girl up down there i'm just trying to freshen her up just in case something happened because i wasn't planning on something to happen but i'm just like let me just freshen the girl up just in case one thing leads to another so i'm in the middle of freshening my little poom poom up y'all and cornbread comes in the bathroom well he doesn't come in the bathroom y'all but he peeks in the bathroom so while i'm freshening up y'all i'm dead middle wiping my girl up and down front back and he comes in the bathroom and he peeks and he's like bae like i guess i was in there for a long time i don't know y'all but he's like bae like you good you okay and y'all, I'm embarrassed as fuck because it's just like, you just caught me in the middle of cleaning my own box. Like, you just caught me in the middle of washing my box. So I'm just like, yeah, I'm good. And I'm embarrassed as fuck. And I'm kind of upset because I'm just like, dang, like, now he know what the F going on. Like, now he thinking I'm trying to set the vibe because he watching me clean my little... I wasn't just cleaning my box, y'all. I was cleaning, you know, my underarms, my boobs, the chest. I was cleaning, you know, the girly areas. So I'm cleaning, I'm cleaning, I'm cleaning, I'm cleaning. I go back into the room, get in the bed with cornbread, and y'all know, y'all already know what happened. We start doing what the French people do. We start kissing, y'all. So we kissing, we kissing, we kissing, we kissing, and then, you know, it's only but so much kissing you can do, y'all. So eventually, cornbread goes downstairs, and y'all, when he goes downstairs, hmm, how do I say this? He puts his spoon in my cereal, y'all, and he starts swallowing, y'all. So he starts eating. So he's eating, y'all. He's eating, he's eating, he's eating, he's eating. And this wasn't his first time eating my cereal before because it's just like we had already been dating about four. No, was it four? No, it was like five or six months by then. So he already pretty much knew what my cinnamon toast crunch tastes like because we had already been dating for a while. So I'm just letting him eat, he eat, he eat, he eat. And you know how that is. Like, y'all already know how that is. Y'all grown, I'm grown. So I'm not even going to go into too much detail with that. So he's eating, he's eating, he's eating. So once he gets done eating, y'all... He takes his spoon and he puts it in the sink, y'all. <laughs> and y'all don't want to know what he did after that. He basically started washing the dishes, y'all. So he's washing the dishes, y'all. He's washing the dishes. And every time he goes in to wash the dishes, he looks at me and he's just like, Bae, like, you good? You okay? And I'm just like, mm-hmm. Like, I'm good. I'm like, I'm good. Like, he basically trying to make sure I'm good and I'm okay. But, y'all, I'm not gonna lie. Like, a bitch was not good. I felt like I had just got hit by a truck. Like, I don't know, y'all. Like, before this, I had never watched, um... P-O-R-N. I have never watched P-O-R-N. I was basically expecting it to be like the movies. Y'all know in movies when the sex scene comes on and how the girl be like, what's that movie? What's that movie? Um, Y'all know that sex scene in Love and Basketball? <sighs> Right when the spoon goes into the sink, the little gas, you know, the little, the little, the little gas. I'm thinking I'm going to have a little gas and he going to keep washing the dishes and then eventually it's going to start to feel good. But y'all no, like it, it wasn't starting to feel good. Like it was starting to hurt, but I'm continuing to tell Bay that I'm good because I want him to make it start to feel good. So he, 
every time he washes the dishes y'all he continues to ask me like am i good and i'm like oh yeah babe like i'm good so y'all he's you know washing the dishes he's washing the dishes he's washing the dishes so once he gets done doing the do it probably lasted for about 10 to 15 minutes y'all he gets done doing the do and as soon as he stops washing dishes like he puts the sink and the thingy like he's done washing dishes y'all I immediately start crying because I just felt real, real nasty and disgusted. Like, I don't know why, y'all, but as soon as I got done doing it, I felt, like, super duper bad. Like, I just felt bad and I just felt disgusted. So, Cornbread is, like, trying to comfort me. He's just like, no, Asia, you're good. Like, he's like, da 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 Like, he's just trying to comfort me. And it wasn't like I felt like I wasn't ready. I just felt real nasty and dirty afterwards. So, he ensured me that I was clean. I wasn't dirty. Like, everything was good. And mind y'all, I wasn't supposed to be sitting like, at his house at this time. It probably was like three or four o'clock in the morning. So we didn't really get much sleep. We went to bed and then we had to wake up like at six o'clock in the morning so he can take me home because his mom had to go to work. I think his mom used to go to work at like seven o'clock in the morning. So he had to um, take me home like mad early. So we basically took like a little two hour nap and I went home. And y'all, when I got home or when I woke up that next day, I basically just felt like a new woman like a bitch was in love before but I just felt like more refreshed and more in love and y'all I was really nervous like all my friends had already lost their virginity they had lost their virginity like at 12 13 14 15 I was basically the last one to lose my virginity and I really didn't want to tell my friends or anything but I didn't even have to tell my friends like the next day I went to school I remember my girl Jay looking at me and she was just looking at me like bitch like something is different like something is different and she was like asking me all these questions and i just remember being like yes bitch like he ate the box i lost the box like it happened and after i think i told jay and then i told my best friend and before i really told them they kind of already like knew what was up me and my best friend we didn't go to the same school my junior year but the like, next time i had seen her by that time it had already been like months had went by and i had already lost it and i was really getting my dishes washed but she even knew that i had lost it lost my virginity <laughs> I don't know like they basically I remember my best friend telling me that I was walking different so that's how she kind of figured that I lost it and the next day I seen Jay Jay was just like bitch you're glowing like something is different about you and I'm just like yes bitch like the box the hyphen the hyphen y'all the hype the hymen the hymen is gone like it ain't there like he ate it up like he ain't leave no crumbs like it's it's, it's not there no more and then the way my mama found out like I think a month after I lost my virginity, my mom ended up finding out. And now that I think back about it, like, it was obvious as hell because, y'all, I was in love. Like, when I say a bitch was in love, a bitch was in love, y'all. Literally, me and, um, what's his name again? Cornbread. Me and Cornbread can just be sitting on the couch and just looking at each other, not saying anything. And, y'all, we would just be smiling. Like, I was smiley as hell. Like, I was just happy as hell all the time. And I don't even think it was because I lost my virginity. I think, honestly, because I was just in love. But I don't know where me and my mom was going. It was like a month after I lost it. And me and my mom was in the car. And she looked at me. And she was like, are you a virgin? And I was like, no. And y'all, y'all not going to believe this woman. This woman bust out crying. So as soon as I said no, it ain't even get the words out of my mouth. I was just like, no. She was like, no. Ah. And she started crying. I'm just like, but, but mom, like, I'm, I'm grown. Like, I'm... I, I, I'm like I'm grown like y'all the woman busts out crying and she was just like in tears and I was like shocked as hell because I didn't think my mom was gonna be mad at me or anything because I was grown as hell y'all I was grown so I'm just like literally I was prom was like in May and I think I went off and went to college like the next when was that august i went off to college so it was like literally y'all i was grown i think i graduated college in may as well like a few months no not a few months a few weeks after prom so i was so confused while homegirl was crying and y'all she was just crying she was like crying 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 and i'm just like mama like i'm 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 i'm, I'm grown and she just crying she's crying she's crying and y'all she stopped crying and she asked me was it in her house and i'm just like no and then she starts crying even more. And then she's like, who house was it in? And I was like, it was at his house. And then I remember, I don't know how the rest of that conversation went, but I just remember her asking me something like, um, it wasn't special. And I was just like, how you know it's not special? And then she was just like, it was at his house. Like, how could it have been special? And she was like, you should have got a hotel. And I just remember thinking like, stop the cap. Girl, like, 
like if I would have asked to get a hotel at 18 on the night of prom you would have said no like you would have not let me get a hotel but I just remember her saying like oh you should have got a hotel so it could have been special and he could have did this and that for you and I'm just thinking like girl like no like you would have not let me go to a hotel but she was acting like oh it, in order for me to make it special she said I should have got a hotel and yeah that's pretty much what happened and I don't think now my dad knows that I'm not a virgin but I didn't tell him I'm pretty sure my mom told him that I'm not a virgin but that's pretty much how my mom found out she basically was saying that she could just tell that I wasn't a virgin anymore just for how I was glowing and how we were interacting with each other and that's pretty much the story time of how I lost my virginity I hope this story was not too PG for you I'm not trying to get demonetized so I had to use a lot of cold words like cereal box y'all Y'all know the drill. I'm not trying to do too much. Um, and that's pretty much it for this story time. I am going to be dropping another story time soon. So if y'all mad about the story time being short, don't even don't even do that. I'm going to drop another one soon. And also, um, go follow my lash page. These lash style, this is Spice. And this is also going to be featured on my lash line. And my lash line is dropping on June the 15th. So make sure y'all follow my lash line so y'all can be in tune for when that drops. And peace. I'll see y'all in my next video.